Hey everyone, Dan here, Sure PT. Just thought I'd give a quick little update as to what's been going on in my whole world. Um, well, I did get the new part, so that's good. I actually got that shipped from Canada, which was excellent. Then I got the sprocket put back on, but when I put the sprocket on, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's not perfect. And I do not want to put that whole thing together again. So I'm just going to put a new bearing on this side and a bearing on this side. Um, one thing that I did not have available when I put that back together is I basically used, oh, punches, wedges, and other things to get that back onto that shaft. And I should have pressed it on. That was, I may have damaged it when I put it back on again. So shame on me. But I'll get that ordered. I should have that hopefully next week. And then the other thing was the guard. It got damaged. If you can kind of see that. But that is supposed to be a right angle. And I had to bend it straight up to be able to get all those parts off, if you remember. I don't know if I'm going to try to just get a heat gun and see if I can get that sucker straight again. But if I can see a part and it's inexpensive, I'm just going to buy a new part and get that at the same time as when I get that gear. Other thing is, is while I'm at it, this strap, I lost this in one of the expeditions. Um, so I'm going to get a new one of those too while I'm at it. Uh, she's still there, up in the air, ready for action. But unfortunately, I have not got everything organized to make it happen. Not really a good time of the year to go out anyhow because everything's so damn muddy. Um... Not that it really matters to this. It doesn't really get a lot of mud on it, but it does make a mess of roads and trailers and so forth. I also crack this, too. I might get a new one of these covers. I'll take a look at the website. So this is that guard that I was having all those difficulties with that the chain was hitting. And I was able to do some repair. I kind of forgot about you a little bit. Uh, right over here, you can see how that's nice and flat. Over here is kind of where I stopped. And I'll continue showing you what I was actually doing. But if I turn that up, you can kind of see how much higher that it, it is now because of that chain rubbing than what it should be. So I'm just taking a heat gun and just heating it up and just pushing it down again. So I've already got this side over here. I did it in the house. I actually forgot about you guys and was just putzing with it. I was absolutely amazed at how well it worked. But you just heat this thing up a little bit and that plastic, you know, it not necessarily melts, but it becomes a lot more elastic and you can just push right down on it. That's a pretty nice job. looking around trying to figure out how I was going to be able to do this. Uh, people have hundreds of different uses for these. They actually take these out and, you know, just use them to actually cook things with. You know, throw it underneath the frying pan and off you go. So, this summer in my adventures, that may be something that I'm going to do because I'm thinking about buying a Sherp trailer. Not a trailer that you actually haul the shirt. Well, I'm trying to get two trailers, but I want to get a trailer that you actually pull behind the shirt. And the reason I want to do that is, honestly, I would have two more tires available in the event something happened. Um, and I think it would be pretty cool to have a trailer behind in the water because... 
be a nice little thing to fish out of. Maybe I'm not, who knows. But that's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm still absolutely shocked that this even occurred. It, this is a real fluke, to say the least. But honestly, it's been a good learning experience, right? I don't do this fixing stuff for a living, so I'm not really that confident. Project complete. I'm fairly impressed with how well it actually turned out. So it's fairly square. Um, all the bumps and bruises. There's still a couple little rem reminders there, but she's pretty darn smooth. All we got to do now is get those bearings, and we'll be off and running.